Jeremiah Learns to Read by Joe Ellen Bogert, Laura Fernandez, and Rick Jacobson. Jeremiah knew how to build a split rail fence and he knew how to cook buttermilk pancakes, but he didn't know how to read. Jeremiah knew how to make a table out of a tree or sweet syrup from its sap, but he didn't know how to read. Jeremiah knew how to grow beautiful tomatoes, long green cucumbers, and juicy cobs of corn, but he didn't know how to read. He knew the tracks of the animals and the signs of the seasons, but he didn't know the letters and the words. I want to learn to read, he said to his brother Jackson. You're an old man, Jeremiah said Jackson. You have children and grandchildren and you can do almost anything. But I can't read, said Jeremiah. Fine, said his brother. Then learn. I want to learn to read, Jeremiah said to his wife, Juliana. You're wonderful just the way you are, said Juliana, and she stroked his gray beard. But I can be even better, he said. Fine, said his wife. Learn, then you can read to me. She smiled at him over her knitting. I want to learn to read, Jeremiah said to his old sheepdog. The old sheepdog just looked at him, then lay down on the rag rug by Jeremiah's feet. Jeremiah thought, how can I learn to read? My brother can't teach me. My wife can't teach me. This old dog can't teach me. How will I learn? Jeremiah thought and thought, and then he smiled. The next morning, Jeremiah got up at sunrise and did his chores. Then he washed his face and his hands brushed his hair and his beard, and put on his favorite shirt. He made biscuits and gravy and sliced tomatoes for breakfast and packed a sandwich for his lunch. Then he kissed Juliana goodbye and walked out the door. He joined a group of children walking down the tree-shaded lane. When they went into the schoolhouse, Jeremiah went in too. Mrs. Trumbull smiled when she saw him. I want to learn to read, he told her. She pointed to an empty seat and Jeremiah sat down. Class, said Mrs. Trumbull, we have a new student today. Jeremiah started by learning the letters and the sounds they made. Some of the children helped him. At recess, he sat under a tree and told stories. He showed Sarah and David how to chirp like a chickadee and honk like a goose. Soon Jeremiah was learning words. He studied his lessons carefully. He practiced his writing every day. Jeremiah loved it when the teacher and the older children read to the class. Sometimes he drew pictures while he listened. Jeremiah was learning, but he was teaching too. He showed the Miller twins how to whittle with a pocket knife. He taught Mrs. Trumbull how to make applesauce and how to whistle through her teeth. After a while, Jeremiah was putting words together and writing his own stories. He wrote about saving a baby squirrel. He wrote about swimming in the river. He wrote about the day he met his wife. Juliana watched Jeremiah practicing his writing on the table after supper. When are you going to read to me? 
she asked. When the time is right, he answered. One day, Jeremiah took a book of poems home from school. The poems were about trees and clouds and streams and swiftly running deer. Jeremiah hid it under his pillow. That night, when he and Juliana went to bed, he pulled out the book. Listen, he said. He read a poem about the soft petals and sweet smell of roses. He read a poem about the crashing waves at the seashore. He read a poem about love. Juliana looked into her husband's gray eyes. Oh, Jeremiah, she said, I want to learn to read. Jeremiah smiled at Juliana. First thing after breakfast, my love. And Jeremiah turned off the light. <laughs>